Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Capricorn and it will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have some rising or Venus placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have those birthright placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. All right, what's going on with my Capricorn Collective? Cats, what's going on with my cats? Tell me to shuffle the cards real good for you guys. I don't know. But that's what we gonna do. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle and then we will get into it. All right. So what on with my when my Capricorns need to know? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. All right, we have the Page of Cups. Uh oh. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. The High Priestess. Pisces energy. With the Page of Wands, we have Aries, Leo, Sag energy. I don't know if I said that or not yet. And we do have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think I already did say that. Nine of Wands. We have Queen of Cups. Judgment on the back of the deck. Scorpio energy. All right. So you guys are about to um, maybe receive some type of communication, a message, something about building a leg, like something about like building like a relationship, a lot like a long term relationship. A commitment or something here could be marriage for some of you. Tell me more about this page of wands. What's this communication coming in? Yeah, definitely communication. It could be about maybe moving something along or progressing something. Eight of wands. Yeah, definitely. Tell me more about it. The eight of wands, the wheel of fortune, and the hermit. Somebody could maybe say, so what does that do with Capricorn? The three of cups. Ooh, you know what's maybe happening here? Okay, tell me about the Three of Cups and what that means for Capricorn. The Three of Wands. Okay, yeah, there's maybe a third party here. Eh. Something is changing here. Tell me what the Wheel of Fortune is. What's this? The world. A cycle is ending. Or something. Something's ending here. What's the Three of Cups and the Three of Wands mean for Capricorn? The Hierophant. Okay, what's this mean for whoever this is coming toward them? Okay. The Devil. Somebody is like prideful in, in their ego or something here. It's like, I feel like somebody's about to get softened. That's what I'm getting from this. Like, it's like somebody was really like prideful, toxic in their ego. Could be dealing with a Taurus because we have the King of Pentacles here. But I feel like something is about to change. They, they thought about it or something. <laughs> They've been thinking about it. What is happening here? Tell me about the Page of Cups. Definitely going to be receiving a message or apology or something like that. Somebody's waiting on an apology or you guys are expecting an apology or something. What's the thing for Capricorn? 
temperance. Yeah, you guys are like, what's this apology mean for this person? The chariot. Yeah, I think they're going to come toward you to try to apologize or make amends here. Tell me about the high priestess, the three of swords. Secrets could have, what's this mean for Capricorn? Justice. You guys are going to get justice for something that was like, what's this high priestess mean for this person? The eight of cups and the fool. Somebody walked away from you. They broke your heart. They feel very foolish, I feel like, now for doing so. They were, said they, they regret doing that or they feel foolish. You're going to get justice or tell me about the fool and what that means for this person. The king of wands and the tower. They they were, they were feel like an action that they took. Yeah, seven of swords. I don't like that. Or they're trying to figure out how you guys can move past this. Yeah, I don't, they're trying to like strategize how they could like, y'all could move past this or move past this tower moment. They took some type of action that led to a tower moment between the two of you. They did something. They walked away. They emotionally, they withdrew. They emotionally withdrew. They broke your heart in some way. They hurt you. There was a breakup here, but I see you, you're going to get justice. this king of pentacles tell me about this king of pentacles the queen of pentacles oh yeah you guys are dealing with another, a lot of you are dealing with another earth sign what can you tell me about this relationship or this connection the hanged man it's at a standstill right now why tell me more about why because tell me about the somebody is still giving to something from their past they're still stuck in another relationship or another connection they're still like energetically connected to another connection. That's the, the issue. Or they're still giving to something else from their past. There's like something about an imbalance in this connection. A lack of balance. It's because somebody's still tied or giving to something from their past. What does this Six of Pentacles mean for my Capricorns? Yeah, they betrayed you or something. They were still, they're still tied or that's what led to an ending, a painful ending, or you feel betrayed by this person. What does the Six of Pentacles mean for this person? Four of Wands. Okay, tell me more about this four of wands, the judgment, and they don't know what to do. It could be something about family. They don't know what to do or like what what's the right decision to make in a situation. Like they, they don't know like what's the good what's a good call to make or something like that. In regards in, regarding like a marriage or a living situation, a family situation. Tell me about the nine of wands. You guys are getting fed up with this this King of Pentacles. Tell me what this means for my Capricorns. Yeah, so you guys pull back. You're pulling back. Yeah, you're fed up with them. You're pulling your energy back. So I know what the Nine of Pentacles means for Capricorn. The Emperor and the Magician. What's this mean for Capricorn? The Seven of Swords and working on what? The Empress. Somebody's trying to... What's the Empress mean for this person? The Two of Swords. They have blockages galore, guys. Like, I don't know. This person's super blocked and they're super unstable. But I feel like they like, they're sad about it. Like, they wish that maybe, yeah, they wish that they weren't, like, they, they, they could, they weren't trapped or that they were, they could get out of their head and that they could be in this relationship with you. But they're super unstable and they are very sad. Like they, they're, they have regrets and they like wish that they could like be with you, but they can't. They have all these blockages and obstacles. It could be within their own mind, their own head. All right. Um, it's like they feel like they are not in a, they're not able to or they don't see how they could offer you something more stable. Or they're blocked from being able to offer you something more stable because they're unstable. They're they're like a knight of wands energy. 
I feel like you guys are focused on, you guys are going to stay single. You guys are taking back your power or your control and you guys are trying to strategize. You're working on something, manifesting something like a new beginning or something. You guys are working on trying to manifest something for yourselves. Oops. Give me one more card about what the Nine of Pentacles means for Capricorn. See, why does the Seven of Swords keep coming out? What does the Seven of Swords mean for Capricorn? The Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You guys may be finding out about some type of... What does this have to do with this person? The Lovers and the Four of Swords. You guys are going to be maybe finding out why this person... Huh... What does the Lovers and the Four Swords mean for this connection? The Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like this person needs to withdraw from some type of other connection. They need to make a decision to withdraw from something. Or there, there's something that they need to end or leave. Heal from. Yeah, there's maybe they need to heal from a past connection for some of you withdraw from it i still see them like still giving to it to some way in some way and i feel like with the seven of swords and the page of swords you guys kind of feel like this person was doing something deceptive i don't know if they actually were i feel like that's your worry you feel like this person was sneaking you feel like they're hiding something from you you guys want to know or you're curious you're wanting you're trying to get more information or you guys want to know because I see it's weighing heavy on you. Either you guys did find out that this person was doing something deceptive, but it's more of like, to me, you guys are like thinking that they did something deceptive, but that's not the case. This person, because what I said, when I asked what this means for this relationship, they're trying to, they want to offer you, they have passion for you. They want to have this new passion beginning with you. They want to offer their love to you or express their emotions to you or something. I don't think that they are. Are they, are they sneaking around? What is it? What are they doing? Are they, what are they doing? Are they hiding something? Five of Wands and the Strength. Five of Wands and Strength. Page of Pentacles. What what's this comp? What's this Five of Wands though? The Queen of Swords. What's this mean for? Is this Capricorn? Yeah, I feel like they're super conflicted. They don't know what to do. They're trying to have like. What's the strength card? What's the strength card? What's this thing for them? They're trying to... What is the... What's the, the Knight of Cups? The, I mean, the Nine of Cups. Wishing... What are they wishing or hoping for? Death. Like, they, they want something to come to an end in their life or... Oh, goodness, guys. I feel like this person knows it's like they, they don't have much to offer you, but they will, they're trying to like kind of get the, get it together because they know that you're not playing or they, you're cutting this person off and you're moving on. So I feel like they're trying to like find some type of clarity or they're trying to work up the courage to, exp to communicate something to you. Tell me about the queen of cups. What does this mean for my Capricorns? Oops, hold up. What's the Queen of Cups mean for my Capricorns? The Two of Pentacles and... What, what are they... What's the juggling? The Ace of Cups. I feel like... What's this Queen of Cups mean in regards to this person? The Magician and... The Two of Cups. What's the Two of Cups of Magician mean for this connection? Yeah, th this person wants it with you guys. I'm telling you. But this person feels like you're getting away from them. They feel like you're, yeah. They, you guys are kind of trying to get away from them, I feel like. Or you're trying to like, you are moving on from them or something. Trying to, stri like, plan what to do. Like, plan what to do going forward. Or like, strategizing how to move forward. Leave this situation behind. Because you guys just feel like, you guys, I still feel like are on the fence about this person. You don't know what to do. It's like 
part of you is like wanting this person to kind of communicate with you and speak their speak some type of truth to you clear the air you're, you're maybe expect, hoping or expecting an apology from this person for them to try to fight for you or something but on the other hand you guys feel like maybe it's time for you to open yourself up to new love or it's like this person you guys feel juggled because you know that this person is still attached to something else Tell me who this Queen of Cups, tell me about this Queen of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what's this have to do with Capricorn? Death, okay. I just feel like you guys are like, really like having to love yourselves in this connection i feel like that's what this queen of cups energy is i feel like this person is taking a very long time to offer you something more stable so or it's like you just feel like they're not moving or they're just not progressing or progressing too slowly for you like you just keep feeling like you get like the short end of the stick in this connection or something so you guys are ending things with like this is why this is coming to an end you guys are going trying to go in another direction now But I feel like, hmm, this person wants to be, they want to manifest a, re, a relationship and a, a happily ever after with you. That's clear here. Hmm. I do feel like they're going to reach out to you. Are they going to take any action? I see them wanting to make, like, I see the magician. I, are they, what are they going to do in regard that they have this desire? The nine of cups. See, I don't like that. Okay. And the ace of cups. I just see them kind of like wishing and hoping for a new beginning in love with you. Still moving slowly. I don't see them taking two. Tell me more. Are, are they going to take any action? The strength. No, I don't feel that they are. So what are they? They're not going to do anything. What about the Knight of Cups? This person fears expressing their emotions to you. Or this person fears... Tell me what the Nine of Cups... The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords means for this person. They're stuck in their head. This person has a hard time expressing their emotions or something. Yeah, I still see them at this point, unfortunately, guys. not express like they want to but they they don't they they second guess themselves tell me about the page of pentacles the knight of pentacles and the three of pentacles are they going it's just it's gonna take this person a while to, to before they're able to ready to speak their truth to you but what they don't know is that like while they're taking forever to express their emotions and feelings to you, you guys are planning a life without them or you're planning a, like a, a, like strategizing how to move forward without them. Going in another direction, leaving this situation behind. Like, I feel like for you guys, this is over. You, you couldn't deal with this person's instability anymore. It was becoming too heavy. It was becoming too much of a burden. It's like this person, I don't know, guys, they... I see them moving towards you very slowly to express something to you. Like, I feel like eventually this person will express something to you. But it may be like when it's too late or after you have moved on. It's like instead of the two of you building a life together, you guys are building a life separate from them now. Because maybe they just weren't on the set. You guys weren't on the same page or something here. All right, let me get a few more cards to clarify what's going on we are going to take this over to the extended reading to get more clarity on what's going on in this connection what you guys can expect going forward um good timing if spirit will allow that um um get you guys some advice whatever else i feel like doing in the extended the link is in the will be in the description box um what else was i going to say and oh and if you're interested in getting access to all the extended readings that i do for the month um I do offer a channel membership. Um, click the join button below or there is a link in the description box to join my channel. 
All right, what do they need to know about this situation to wrap up this reading, Spirit? What do they need to know? They're not available. Yeah, they're not available right now. This, I'm telling you, for some of you, this person's married. Tell me more. Mixed signals. They give you mixed signals. I feel like that's the current energy that they're in. They're still going to continue to, or, um, but they're lost without you. <sighs> but something's coming to an end. What's coming to an end? Not the one. What does this mean for Capricorn? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me what coming to an end means for Capricorn. They will text or call. Yeah. Okay. So what's coming to an end? What's not the one? What's not the one? Happily ever after? What's not the one mean for Capricorn? Feeling depressed? You deserve better. You guys are, it's like, you guys are starting to feel like this person isn't your person. <laughs> but I feel like they, you, they, I, it already came out. They view you as their happily ever after, but you're starting to feel like they're not the one for you. But, and I feel like they're feeling that. You guys are realizing that you deserve better. But now that you guys are like, it's like you really are starting to move away from this person or you're really trying to close out a cycle with them. Now they're going to reach out. They're feeling depressed. Spirit says they can be. Let's see here. What is this communication? They will text or call. Heartbreak. What's sexually addicted? False mask. Yeah, this person's... Ugh, 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 ugh. This person needs to... Before they can let their walls down with you, they're going to need to let go of something from their past. But first of all, you guys maybe really like the sex with this person. <laughs> so don't let this person... Guys, <laughs> don't let this person seduce you. Because I still see them hiding their true feelings from you. Still not wanting to open up to you. Still not being vulnerable with you. I thought this person's heartbroken. They they may end up hurting you again. They, you Just don't do it. Don't. Unless they're coming towards you. Give me more, one more card about their intentions with this communication. You have. Okay. Spirit says you have nothing to be worried about. Okay. And move on. Why do they have nothing to be worried about? I was not good enough for you. Some of you kind of like have this feeling with this person that like they make you question your own self-worth. Yeah, I feel like you guys kind of feel like... How do I say this? Some of you, it weighs heavy on you like thinking about, you know, this person maybe giving... It's like something about this person makes you question your own self-worth. And you guys feel like if you maybe move on from this person. Guarded. What does guarded mean for Capricorn? This isn't for a long haul. And what's this guard mean for this person? Separation time apart. Yeah. There is some type of, there is beautiful energy between you and this person overall. Like, there is something go, going on here between the two of you. I feel like you and this person maybe both struggle with self-worth and they're very guarded. Their separation and time apart is needed, okay? But I do feel like this is not going anywhere. Some of you guys maybe feel like you're losing this person for good or you, you worry that if you move on from them for a time being or spend some time apart from them, that you will completely lose them or that... Because some of you guys still desire this with them, but you guys just feel like you know you deserve better. For some of you, you're trying to do this to maybe like see, kind of maybe teach them a lesson or to see if they'll miss you. Some of you guys are afraid that they won't miss you or that they won't change for you or they, you know what I mean? Like, because you guys still, part of you still loves this person and wants to be with them. So you guys are afraid to maybe... Do, put this distance between you and this person because you're worried that because you guys struggle with your own self-worth you're afraid that maybe they'll just move on and 
get with somebody else or I feel like you guys worry about maybe not like getting what you deserve or something in this situation like them just moving on from you acting like you never existed or that you meant nothing to them or something but I don't feel like this is going anywhere we have this is this is for the long haul but we're gonna take this over to the extended reading we're gonna take a bit deeper look at the situation like I said um The link will be in the description box or you can um, join the channel membership to get access to all the extended readings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Um, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to that as well in the description box. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.